Hello everybody and welcome to Excel video 307. I was working today with a group that wanted to do a Gantt chart in Excel and they said, can you help me? And I said, absolutely. We can do you know whatever kind of chart you want in Excel. When you're ready to upgrade your charts and make them look a little fancier, a little better, a little more interactive, I'd love to help you. What we're going to do today is keep playing with this sum of build column that we're changing the show values as setting. We did the running totals last time. Let's rank this time. So I'm going to start by ranking smallest to largest. And the first thing Excel is going to ask me is the same question we've seen several times now. What's your baseline? So I'm going to start by primary insurance. Click OK. And so because I ranked smallest to largest, notice that my largest number is the 6 for my Blue Cross, my biggest number, and the 1 is for my smallest value, Medicaid. And you can see how things change over time that Medicare, excuse me, Blue Cross is the biggest in 2009, 10, and 11 followed by the patient balance, but you can see that Medicare is larger than Aetna in 2009, but by the time we get to 2010 and 2011, you see how Aetna is larger than Medicare. It helps you see trends in relation to one another over time by ranking. And again, if you don't have 2010 and you're following along value field settings show values as, let's rank largest to smallest. We'll do the same thing through this menu system. And all the only difference between largest to smallest and the smallest to largest, again using primary insurance, is now the biggest value gets a 1 instead of a 6, and the smallest value gets the 6 instead of the 1. We'll see the same trend. See, this goes from 3 to 4 over time. That's what ranking does, and you can use it over time to see how trends have changed. If I wanted to see how they tr changed from year to year, all I'm going to do is rank largest to smallest, but instead of doing primary insurance, let's look at years and click OK. Now what does that show me? That my biggest year for four of my payers was 2009, and you can see Blue Cross is getting um, lower over time. Let's, let's phrase it that way, because Blue Cross was my biggest payer in 2009, second biggest in 2010, and let's click out of here so you can see this and third biggest in 2011, whereas Medicare's biggest year was 2011. See how we're ranking years now instead of going, looking at the insurance payers instead? That's what ranking does. It just helps you see over time the relationship between the components, whether your rows or your columns or whatever it is you'd like to look at. Stay tuned. Next time there is one more show values as index that we're going to play with. We'll do it then. Thanks for watching.